In the aftermath of Typhoon Saudalore, Taipei Mayor Koenja has blamed murky tap water in the Taipei area following Typhoon Saudalore on poor soil and water conservation efforts around the Nanshi River upstream of Ulai. The Forestry Bureau countered by saying there was no evidence of overdevelopment or improper management around the Nanshi River. Taipei residents were still experiencing murky tap water some two days after the typhoon passed. To apologize for this inconvenience, Taipei has decided not to charge water fees from August 8th to 10th. Despite the overture, many wonder about the source of the problem. In fact, 70 percent of Taipei's water comes from the Nansha River, which together with the Beisha Creek, both supply Feitui Reservoir. Taipei Mayor Koenza believes the central government should do a better job and review soil and water conservation efforts around Nansha River. Upstream soil and water conservation was not properly carried out. I believe that Nansha River and Beisha Creek should be handled at the same time. I do not think it's right for Taipei to do a good job of managing the Beisha Creek and for nobody to worry about contamination of Nansha River, which has a direct impact on water treatment plants. This aerial photo of the Nansha River shows signs of good management. Some 90 percent is state-owned forest, which has not experienced logging in 30 years. Central government authorities strongly deny Ku's attempt to blame them for poor water quality in the Taipei area, simply noting that record rainfall accumulation was to blame.